In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest ways to earn centerpieces in Season 3 of NBA 2K23, my team. So the first fastest way to get a centerpiece in Season 3 is going to be through the Season Agenda. So you guys want to come over to your Season Agendas, and you want to go to the Season 3 tip-off. And as you guys can see, once you complete these 12 challenges, you will get a centerpiece exchange. And these, uh, these challenges are going to be fairly easy to do. Win 5 TTO or TTO online games using 3 diamond cards or better. Win 2 games using 13 amethyst cards or higher. Win a game using 13 graded cards. I would say all together, these challenges will probably take you about two to maybe three hours to do, which is going to be the fastest way to get a centerpiece in season three. Talking about the second fastest way and the third fastest way is going to be through TTO co-op. And if you guys don't know, I can't exactly show you guys because I wish 2K would let you scroll up to see all the prizes from co-op. But at 25 wins, you will get a centerpiece. And then at 50 wins, you will get another centerpiece as well. So that's going to be the second and the third fastest way to get a centerpiece is 25 wins and 50 wins in co-op. Now, the the fourth fastest way is going to be through TTO online, right? If you guys don't know, if I scroll over to TTO online real quick, let me go down to the my team uh, season three trophy case. As you guys can see, once you get to 50 wins in triple threat online, you will get a centerpiece exchange. So that's going to be the fourth fastest way to get a centerpiece. Now talking about the fifth fastest way is going to be through clutch time offline. Now the reason why TTO online is faster because those games take about maybe four to five minutes to play where a clutch time offline game probably takes around like six to seven, maybe even eight minutes. But yeah, if you guys don't know, at 50 wins in season three, you will now get a centerpiece exchange. So that's going to be the fifth fastest way. And then number six is going to be through clutch time online, which is also going to be about is going to be 50 wins to get your centerpiece exchange. These games take anywhere from six to eight minutes to do where T2 online games take about four to maybe six at most. So that's why they're, they are going to be a little bit longer. And then the seventh fastest way is going to be through the 6,000 unlimited points. So once you guys get to 6,000 points in unlimited, that is going to be when you get your first centerpiece exchange now i know a lot of people do ask me how many games how many wins does it take to get to the centerpiece the six thousand points i would say for most people it's going to take about 25 to 30 wins it might take you 30 games it might take you 40 games 50 games really depends on how much you do win i'd say on average it's going to take most people about 30 wins to maybe 35 wins to get the first centerpiece that's going to be the seventh fastest way and then the eighth fastest way is going to also be through unlimited and that's going to be at 9850 points points you will get your second centerpiece exchange that's going to be 4,000 points more than the first one exactly 3,850 so I'd say it's probably going to take you another maybe 20 wins you know 22 wins to do so to get to that next centerpiece exchange probably actually a little bit less than that maybe 15 to 20 wins to get the extra 4,000 points so that's going to be the eighth fastest way and then the ninth fastest and we're going to go back to the T2 online once you guys get to 100 wins in T2 online you will get your second centerpiece. So if I scroll over back to the season agendas and we go to the season three trophy case, as you guys can see right here, once you win 100 triple threat online games, you will get your sec a second centerpiece. So I'd say that's going to be the ninth fastest way. And then the 10th fastest way is going to be through clutch time offline. Once again, if you scroll all the way over to 100 wins, you will get your second centerpiece. And then same thing in clutch time online. Once you do get to your 100 wins in clutch time online, you will get your second centerpiece as well. And then the last way, kind of not, I get, I, I I guess it's kind of the last way because it's the last game mode is going to be through TTO offline. If I go to TTO offline, you guys can see if we scroll up to 125 wins, I think it is. Yeah, 125 wins in TTO offline is probably going to take the 12th fastest way because it is going to take about four minutes, maybe five minutes to complete the games. I know some people can do it a lot faster in about three minutes, but I'd say for on average, it's going to take most people about four to five minutes to do. And that's going to be 125 wins, which is more than any of the any other the win totals that you had to do for the other game modes and then once you scroll the way all the way up to the top at 250 wins you will get your second centerpiece exchange so that's going to be how to get the 13 fastest centerpieces the other two are going to be in the token market so technically if you guys have the tokens you will be able to get these two right away so if you do have 3,000 tokens lying around going into season three you'll be able to get these two as obviously the fastest and that would put us at 15 trophy or 15 centerpieces i should say and then the other ones are going to be from the uh what's it called are going to be from the player agendas as you guys can see, once you get up to 950 cards, uh, player cards collected, that will be another centerpiece exchange. And then once you get to 1,100, 1,100, that will be in another centerpiece exchange. So that's how you guys get these 17 centerpieces. I'm pretty sure I got to every single one. You guys can let me know if I maybe missed any, but I'm pretty sure I got to every single centerpiece exchange. And those are going to be the fastest way to do so. Let me know in the uh, comment section down below. What centerpieces are you guys grinding for first? Are you guys playing unlimited? Are you guys playing co-op? Are you guys grinding that season agenda? 
let me know what centerpiece you guys are going after first and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace